Hello, this is SoapopDude4, and this is the second part to how to create your own custom car for Walker's Tekken 3. So I'm just going to really quickly go and find the two OVLs we created in the first part. And I'm going to press copy. Then go to wherever you keep all your other custom track ride stuff. Uh, this is where I keep all my work that I actually do in the custom track ride, and I'm going to just create a new folder to YouTube example. I'm going to go inside it and put the OVLs inside there. Now I'm going to go back to here and now we're going to uh, now we're going to need to create a wagon datin file but before we do that we just have to do one more thing. Uh, come over here press rename and copy the name of it without uh, dot unique uh, dot ovl or dot com dot ovl so for me it's youtube block okay so now back to here now find wagon datin template beginner i'm gonna go on full screen now give your train a name i'm going to name it basic block block. Now go to a car count uh, per train minimum. Uh, for our first car, uh, we're just going to have uh, all three of these options. Uh, car count per train minimum, car count per train max, and car count per train preset all to one because that's just working with the basic car. It's now front car and model name part A. This is where we uh, take that name we copied of the OVL so we just press control V and paste it in. Now for front car interior part A, this is going to be like the mass of the car and you want it to be between 200 and 600 so I'm just going to set it to 400 right in the middle and our um, front car peep sitting position I'm just going to put in 11 and uh, if you said to 11, that's going to be the coaster car type. So, uh, they're going to be sitting there with, uh, like, uh, I don't know, they're going to be holding on to restraints or something and sitting down. Uh, it's other modes, but, uh, you're going to have to ask other people about them because I only know mode 11 for right now, or at least off the top of my head. Now we're just going to want to come over here and press save as. And you're going to want to have this same beginning part. Uh, so it should say CGR Wagon Datin, and then there should be these two little dashes. And now you put in your name, so, uh, oh, and with no spaces. So, YouTube. That wasn't right. Example. Block. So now I'll just press save. X out of that. Now, uh, find uh, your file. Let's see here, where is it? It's not here, what the heck? Here we go. Now, uh, we're going to want to copy that and the CTR creator and put them both inside uh, your uh, folder that contains your OVLs. Now just click on the CTR creator. Here, let me go very quickly and grab my CTR options. You should have stuck those in, or you can just real quickly reset them. Uh, control C. Now we'll press, uh, you should come over here to the car section, press read CTR wagon.txt. Uh, press uh, CTR or well just your one thing uh, you found now you could press uh, write CTR wagon datin dot txt and what that will do is it will take your text document you filled out and it will uh, take all the uh, places with incorrect information and it will uh, just uh, take those out that way you could go back and edit it if you want but I'm and it also puts in uh, stuff that more advanced people could use to create things like multiples of cards but I'm not gonna press that 
and instead I'm going to go down to here and press create car OBLs and I'm just going to X out there and copy that to my desktop uh, move it up here now let's go back to our CTR work folder uh, I'm going to the CTR creator uh, v, uh, 0 0.75 and now uh, we're going to need to, well, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is just so I don't have to use an end game icon. Uh, you can uh, by going under here and finding that, but, and this way I can also use uh, my own name and description. So uh, if you're using point zero sixty five for this part, I suggest you use uh, point, uh, uh, versions point, uh, seventy five. That way you can create your own names and stuff if you're releasing this in, to the internet. Wait, no, don't open that. Now we're going to want to uh, use a Bandatin template beginner. Now I'm going to want to come up to here and uh, copy the name of this. Okay, so type in a right name. Basic block description. A basic block right icon. I'm just I'm just going to type in C T R and what this does is in the game there's a uh, the icon is a uh, little like oval type shape and it says C T R in the center and that way uh, because I'm not really good with creating custom icons or anything and right category 3 that's uh, steel coaster tracks and car type name press control V and copy the name of that folder you got and now uh, track type uh, just find any type of track uh, you want under the coaster ride list this should tell you which track is to which coaster type but I'm just going to go to list of all track sections uh, with add-ons wait did that say with or without without with add-ons and right now I'm going to try to find track 5 so control F track 5 pretty sure that this is the extended coaster track uh, so now I'm just going to copy the name track 5, put in the track type, and now down here for track section name, I'm going to copy all the sections of track that are down below. I just keep on happening. Okay, I'm just going to leave out diving loop 90 right. Oh, I'm just going to come back and real quickly copy that again. Now we're going to want to save this. Uh, it's the same thing as last time where it's, uh, you want to CTR the little dash, band datin dash, and then make it this time a different name other than your other one uh... block okay so now hex out that hex out the track sections to the ctr creator press run press read ctr bandatin and now uh... just read your file and press create write ovls uh... now there should be a little folder up here with the name of uh, whatever you named it after your bandatin, and yeah. So now we're just going to real quickly install this by going to our focus start taking three directory. Go to cars, track right cars. Now drag your fol first folder into there. Now back to the directory tracks, track rides, and then drag your second folder into there. And now you have your very first custom car. Hope that this tutorial was helpful to you, and yeah, bye.